All right, here we are at La Posa South. This is a time lapse coming from Quartzsite Town to where we're camping currently. Um, this is Route 95, State Route 95, and we're coming from the town to La Posa South. Um, kind of, it's kind of nice here. We picked a quiet spot far away. We're about three miles in. So here we are turning into the, the long-term visitor area, LTVA. We're going to come up to the main gate. And the main gate, of course, is flags flying. There's somebody there. Um, this is a paid spot. People have to pay to be here. There's a vault toilet or outhouse, as we're familiar with. I guess it sounds better if you say vault toilet. Um, and this is kind of the current situation with the campers here. Apparently, I mean, it gets really kind of crowded in the beginning anyway, but more crowded in the beginning than January when all the shows start. So, it starts off paved, or what they're, I think they call paved. It's kind of a mess because the sun bakes everything so much. We're going to come up on the dump station, the fill station, and the water station soon. sell their wares. They kind of bring it with them. It's a, a crafter's paradise down here if you were a crafter to travel. So we're still on the pavement here. And I forget how far in the, the, the dumps and the water and the trash are, but the trash, they make it easy for you. They, it's built up so you have to throw the trash down instead of up. Um, yeah, there's a dust problem once you get off the pavement. There's the trash to the left, so you know, it's elevated. There's the dumps to the right. And we're coming up on the water fill. I mean, it's potable, but some people don't like it. Uh, there's another outhouse. Out where we are, there's no outhouses. And so far, we've made the tanks last quite a ways. We haven't had to go dump yet. You'll also see these roads that branch off. So this is just kind of the main artery and then all kinds of branching off with off in the distance. You can see campers. Like, it'd be nice to get a good aerial shot of this because it's really kind of neat. So I think we're on the gravel now. There's another outhouse to the right. Some people park right up right up to the to the road or trail. I don't know what you call it. It's not quite a road but as people wear you know put the dust in the air the road gets lower so it's not really plowed so it's deep it's just all that material goes into the air um, and at you know 12 to 15 percent humidity that, that there's a lot to just just fly away you know the great dust bowl kind of thing I, I kind of get how that that happened now especially when you get super low humidity so you can tell these people are going 15 miles an hour this whole video is sped up so and even at 15 miles an hour it kicks up a lot of dust and you can see it branch out I think we're probably almost to the point where we're coming up on where we chose to park we don't know if we're gonna move after we dump I mean that's the beauty of it you find a place to park and that's, that's your spot. The rules are nobody closer than 15 feet, but most people like a big distance between, especially out here, and that's working well. We've met people from Canada, Montana. There's our Serenity right in front of us. It's just kind of weird to just be parked on a giant gravel parking lot. It looks more like Mars than what I was thinking of in my head as a desert. So. There it is, mountains around, shrubs, trees, moon rocks. So far, so good. <laughs> 